Okay, Madison. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I got the same computer. <laughs> Show to you, Trip. None of this is right. Now we in a damn. Why did you have to get more? But the glass is still the same. is still brand new that glass is suspect bro yeah you and the entities round bro yeah you already got yeah you leaving scratch marks Yo's TV set, yo. Oh, stay your ass still. Alright. 
thrust it into his hook. do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold was high and eternity was near. Nope, nope, nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Nope. Is that a hitchhiker? Nope. That's nobody. for the sake of it because I'm stupid uh, hi. <clears throat> so uh, you need a lift Reynolds got a flat oh you're American yeah so am I okay nope gotta go why yeah. did I stop so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well... I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. Mm, I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda, yeah. 
All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber, and that that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. Huh. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Hmm. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... Doorbell. Oh yeah, that's definitely, uh... Damn, you impatient in the motherfucker. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Cuz you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently Off. Beats me. Turn them on. Hello. Let's take a look around. Um. Hello. We've arrived. Yeah, let's stick to the first floor first. No damn light switches tonight. No people under the stairs? Okay. Good, good, good. Huh. Well, even I could play this. Survivor theme, huh? There's chessboard. Let's go over there first. What's over here? Some scary ass paintings. <laughs> really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Bruno Stanford, the third Esquire. 
business connoisseur. Behind Looking all forward to doing good business ideas is a with plan. you. Behind all great huh. ones is Stan. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Miss Lever, I'm writing to confirm that as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty and I do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the, you want to steal them, man, in a private reliquary should it be needed. I am only a short job away if called upon and you need and concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as the state manager of Garant Manor, I've proven to be a model of reserve, probity, and reliability. I wear your response with keen anticipation, your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Okay. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What, why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Look at that photo. It's a nice fireplace. It's kind of small for this big ass house, though. <laughs> they got a phone. What year is it? Do you play? Um, a little. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. Are we supposed to go in there? You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Oh, okay. Those. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little odd. Ah, you oh come down here? This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from oh, the basement, shit. isn't it? I'm going back up. Don't worry. <laughs> We've been invited here for a reason. Yo, you ain't I come down so. with our me, though. We can wear our faces as leather masks. I, uh, what? <sighs> That's super comforting. You gonna come with me down there, right? <laughs> come on. This is gonna leave me down, yeah? That's fucked up. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. That's the Huntress, bruh. <laughs> Yo, that's fly. This seems a bit more lively. Ladies, 
Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Are you the guy? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. He didn't How do you even say that, Melinda. It's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only to call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Uh, so, what's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Bloodbenders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only Doing moves glass in glass again. Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. <laughs> I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. <laughs> A bit of light bedtime reading. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder Mill. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? 
Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film... Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake. Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. No, I won't trust him. Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> Yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. So then that means it belongs to Linda. Small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I, I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. Yes, yeah, I really creepy. think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle.
We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. What? Just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. do is betray my own sister and you will let me go free to fight another day god damn you god damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice a fucking sacrifice see what? what truly makes us human I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? Nope, none. You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Of course.
course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. Yeah, you got a lot of shit Hold going on. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. A lot of ego. Well, if we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. <laughs> mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. To fix your face. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon, I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, She's under any circumstances, <laughs> sit one caught. foot back here <laughs> in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh, man. Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, uh, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Finish the scene. Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. 